What's up Freedom Nation? It's John here from freedomboundbusiness.com. Today I'm going to show you how to use HTML description tags in Kindle Direct Publishing, KDP. In this video I'm going to teach you what in the world HTML tags are, why you should use them instead of uh, basically just leaving them in normal text form without using HTML. And I'm also going to uh, give you a free tool that you can use that will help you create your Kindle book description. Uh, via HTML and I'm also going to do a live example of me using the tool and also replicating another Kindle book on the Kindle store and basically replicating its book description so uh, you can take that example and use it in your own Kindle book descriptions. With that being said I'm going to show you how you can use HTML description tags in your Kindle description. Let me flip the camera here so you can see everything that I have to show you. All right, let's get started, guys. Let's go over the HTML syntax. HTML just stands for Hypertext Markup Language. Don't be scared off by the word language. It is a computer language, but it is one of the most basic of all languages. So these angle brackets define where something starts or something ends in this code. Each set of brackets take on a specific meaning depending on what's in between those brackets. They do come in pairs, okay? So if you wanted to use one of these, you would have to have something in between. In this case, we have the letter P, which stands for paragraph. If you wanted to use it, you would have to close it off with this tag here. And you see the difference here is this forward slash. This has to be included to close off the HTML code. An example here is this here. If you wanted to use this tag, something goes in between. Okay, the paragraph, whatever paragraph you're going to insert there, whatever text that that paragraph has is going in between those two brackets. All right, let's move on to the KDP HTML tags. Um, KDP or Kindle Direct Publishing allows for a long list of HTML tags. Not all of them. There are advanced ones and you know bigger library of HTML tags. But the ones they allow you to use are more than enough for Kindle book descriptions. Now, here are the most commonly used tags, H1 and, uh, through H6. So H1, for example, is uh, the biggest headings you can have, and then H6 is the smallest one. The B tag is just to bold something. The I tag is to italicize something. And like we covered, the P tag is a paragraph. The li tag is the bulleted list, and the break tag is something that some publishers use and some don't. It depends on your style. You can use a line break or you can use a paragraph tag. It's up to you. And this last one is the underline tag. So if you needed to underline something for some reason, then that's your go-to tag. All right. so. I did talk about a free tool, HTML Live Editor, that you can use, so definitely check that out. I'll leave a link in the description below this video, and you could also check it out here at this URL, htmledit.squarefree.com. Now let's move on to the live example here, part of this video. I want to show you this book, this Harry Potter book first, because it's one of those books that don't really need a lot of HTML just because it's well known. It's uh, Harry Potter, JK Rowling. As you can see, this description is really small and all it really has um, going for it HTML wise is maybe a paragraph break here and an I tag here, okay? That's pretty much all it has. Now for a smaller named Kindle publisher who, you know, who didn't write the next Harry Potter, you're, what you're gonna want to do is uh, write a nice, description of your Kindle book. Now I found this while browsing through the bestseller um, and some, somehow ran into it, I forgot already. But this is a Kindle publishing book. It's priced at $2.99. The paperback edition is $7.99. So by the way, that's way too low. <laughs> um, let's do this description, live description example. As you can see, this is an H1. I'm pretty sure this is bolded and just a regular text here. This is a probably a paragraph tag. This is another uh, heading, heading one there. 
some more paragraphs here h1 paragraph uh, paragraph and then bullet points okay he or she bolded some of these bullet points that's fine you know not, not the best description in the world but most Kindle publishing uh, books are going to be like this one they're gonna have some headings some type of bold sometimes uh, some type of description regular text description and then sometimes some bullet points so I'm gonna show you how to do that here let me introduce you to the HTML live editor alright so what I did here was just open it on a different window and what's going on here is the blue section the blue top half is the HTML editor okay this you're not going to type anything in in this white section this bottom half this is just what the equivalent of what's going on up here in regular text so as you can see there's h3 tags here and what happens if I just type stuff in you'll see that it comes up in h3 right so whatever I type in here is going to be in h3 let's change that to h1 and see what happens should be bigger yeah okay so this is bigger bigger what oh okay this is a good uh, example of this is really good that this happened because what happened here is I forgot to close off the uh, the angle tag or bracket so all I have to do here to fix that problem is that and this is back to normal it's good practice to put these uh, brackets at the beginning and at the end for example uh, h1 on its own has its own what do you call it line break after it so for example if I remove this I'm just backspacing here if I remove these tags this still remains but let's see what happens if I start adding text right you can see that it's coming here at the very end but what if I wanted it somewhere in this section okay so if I wanted to do that then I would go and type in some tags here a paragraph tag you can do a line break too some people do that that's fine and all I'm gonna do is just cut this and paste it in between this paragraph tag and as you can see it's going on here now and before we get started on mimicking this description just for video demonstration purposes I want to show you that you can nest other HTML tags within other HTML tags so for example if I wanted to bold this or italicize this then all I would do is let's do, use bold for this example all I would do is close this off okay oops forward slash B angle bracket there so start adding text and to this document so as you can see here this is just bolded you know if I wanted to only italicize this then what would I do here I the I tag right so just wanted to get that out of the way um, so you know how to do it for your own descriptions now let's get started with analyzing this Kindle description from scratch this is a rather long description so I'm just gonna take it in little pieces and skip um, some so let's start off with these three chunks here this is a heading one okay so what I would start doing or this is how I would start off h1 close that off and then there's a I can just it's good practice to just do this paragraph and then you'll see what I'm getting at here oops you know what instead of doing <laughs> having to type it out each time just copy and paste um, so let's copy this heading here boom and let's copy this here so if I paste this here you'll notice that it's not going to be bolded because it's it's not picking up the HTML code this is just plain text okay so if we wanted to bold it because we're doing a live mimic of this we want to add the bold tags around this oops forward slash B okay so as you can see we are modeling this just right and just well here let's copy this here and do the same here boom okay 
we're moving right along here it's not that hard as you can see guys I hope you're starting to pick this up and get this we're gonna skip this section because it's really identical to this first part we're gonna skip this up to here so we're gonna start here all right let's do so this is a paragraph we want to separate this out okay um, and sometimes it's not good to have these enters because you might be adding some uh, extra unnecessary uh, line breaks in your Kindle book description so I know it's messy uh, but at the end you want to not have these as much as possible the line breaks okay let's concentrate back here um, we're gonna insert this here copy and paste that in there okay and now we're, we've come to the bullet the bullets we're not gonna do all of them these are quite a bit of bullets here uh, let's do this we're just gonna do four Four bullet points. I think that should be enough for you to get the point here. All right, and we're just going to copy this. We're not going to copy the bullet point. There we are. Two more, and there we are. Oops. Control V or Command V if you're a Mac user. All right, guys, that's pretty much everything you need to know when it comes to using uh, HTML tags in Kindle Direct Publishing. What you would do at this point once you finish up your Kindle book description is copy this HTML code, and all you would do is uh, paste it into your description um, in your Kindle book details page. And I'm sure you know how to do that. If you're on this video and you're watching this video, you know how to get to that section. All right, that wraps up this video. I hope you enjoyed this tip on how to use HTML description tags in KDP. If you want to know more tips just like this one, then make sure to join my free uh, video training and case study. It's in the description below. I'll link to it and at the end of this video. Anyways, this is John from freedomboundbusiness.com. If you haven't already, subscribe to this channel. I will be making more Kindle publishing videos this week, so stay tuned, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.